Hey everyone, now that Dell and Supermicro Computer have reported their latest quarterly financial results, I thought this would be a good time to compare these two companies and answer which one is the better stock to buy today. Now they're similar in one of their segments in that they install servers that help with artificial intelligence development, but Dell also has a consumer facing business that's much larger than its server business. So. Super microcomputer doesn't have that side of the business. It's primarily server based. And so its growth rate will be better than Dell. But still, I think it's a good comparison to look at these two if you're looking at benefiting from that wave of artificial intelligence development that's been taking over markets in 2023 and 2024. So let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so the first thing I wanted to compare these two on is revenue growth quarterly. And you can see the big difference here. Super microcomputer revenue is absolutely surging. 200% revenue growth in its latest quarter. And it's had several quarters back to back with strong revenue growth and the company overall is exploding in terms of revenue now dell not so much you can see just six percent revenue growth in its latest quarter the quarter before that it was a decrease year over year and so dell that personal computer side of the business is really weighing down the company also dell has a strong business in traditional servers not necessarily artificial intelligence based servers and so that part of the business is not growing as quickly as the ai server businesses which dell did report strong growth in that segment but there's more to dell's business than just that part and that's bringing down the growth rate of the company overall Meanwhile, Super Microcomputer has less slower growing parts of its business, and so it's benefiting more so from the surge in artificial intelligence server development. And the next thing I wanted to highlight is their cash flow from operations to sales. They've both experienced difficulties in cash flow from operations, especially Super Microcomputer, and this is common among companies that sell hardware and experience surging sales because these companies that sell hardware need to invest and purchase the inventory they're going to sell in the next quarter and so when you're growing revenue that quickly the amount of money you're spending on inventory is more than what you're collecting from your customers who owe you money from previous sales and so that leads to negative cash flow from operations to sales especially when your profit margins are not that large that even puts more pressure on your cash flow from operations which both dell and super microcomputer they both have skinny profit margins they are unlike nvidia nvidia's profit margins are absolutely massive dell and super microcomputer single digit profit margins so not very exciting in terms of these metrics for either Dell or Super Microcomputer. Speaking of the operating profit margin, Super Microcomputer improving 9.72% in the latest trailing 12 month period compared to 5.64% for Dell. Like I mentioned, single digit operating profit margins, not very exciting. The trend line is excellent here, improving for both of these companies, but they have never been strong profit margin companies to begin with these are low margin businesses as you could see in the last decade neither of these two has ever had a trailing 12 month period with operating profit margins near 12 percent so they've both had operating profit margins below 12 percent for the longer term so their profit margins i don't suspect will ever go way past beyond 10%. They may hit 10, 12, maybe even percent in terms of operating profit margin, but they are unlikely to get beyond that. The main reason for it is because they're primarily a hardware based business with not very much pricing power. And so they cannot command those kinds of premiums that generate strong pricing power and strong profit margin. So investors should look for operating profit margins in the mid to high single digits longer term perhaps even if you're lucky the low double digits for either of these two companies now i also wanted to compare their balance sheet how much debt they have and dell 
has significantly more debt than Supermicro Computer. Dell is carrying $25.48 billion in long-term debt, while Supermicro Computer only recently tapped the debt market more expansively, taking out money because it's experiencing that strong growth. It wants to finance that growth. It wants to be able to purchase and carry that inventory to fulfill all that customer demand, 200% revenue growth, as we noticed earlier. But $1.86 billion in long-term debt compared to $25 billion for Dell. The balance sheet strongly favors Supermicro Computer, much better position than Dell to finance growth, to capitalize on opportunities. And then also with the significantly lower long-term debt, that's a lower net uh, interest expense weighing down profitability. And finally, I wanted to compare these two on their forward price to earnings ratio to look at which stock is more expensive. And judging by this metric, Supermicro Computer is more expensive, trading at a forward PE of 22.85 compared to the forward PE of 14.2 for Dell. So Supermicro Computer more expensive. But did it earn that premium valuation based on what we looked at so far? In my opinion, yes, it did. That means if I was to pick, if I had to pick one of these two, I would pick Super Micro Computer as the better stock to buy because of the stronger revenue growth, the better balance sheet, the better operating profit margin, and the one metric where it was behind the cash flow from operations to sales. I can understand why it's behind in that factor because it's financing super growth in 200%, right? So that's reasonable. I don't mind a company carrying negative temporary cash flow from operations to finance that level of growth. That's okay. That's a good reason to see a company have negative cash flow from operations. If there is any reason, right? I prefer positive cash flow from operations, but if there's any reason why a company should generate with negative cash flow from operations, it's because it has so much growth happening ahead of it that it needs to buy up that inventory, create that inventory, spend the cash on the inventory so that it can give it to its customers, so that it can sell it to its customers that are eagerly awaiting those products, which is the case with super microcomputer. So it's not ideal, but if there is any reason, that's the reason you would want. So for all of those reasons, if I had to pick between these two, Super Micro Computer would be the one I would choose instead of Dell. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.